Rizio, if I could just start off with a couple of general questions we're all asking, asking all managers today. Um, video technology, this time next year, the third round of the Cup, it could have been introduced. We asked you the other day about it, you weren't too keen, but what about the areas they're talking about now? Goal decisions, red cards, penalties and mistaken identities they're going to bring it in for. Would you be in favour of that video technology? Oof. Difficult to give my opinion because uh, I didn't see uh, in which uh, point want to, to improve uh, or help the, the referee. Um, I am not very kind about this type of uh, uh, put in practice this type of uh, things. Uh, I think it's enough how this season is or last season on Premier League, uh, the goal decision. I think it's perfect. But uh, more, I have doubt about if this is good or bad for the football. Are you worried it might interrupt the flow of a game? Football? Yes, because football is... Um, the good thing in football is that we can speak after the game a lot uh, about it was red card, yellow card, was uh, upside, no upside, and so maybe... I think football need to keep some things important that the the human decision need to exist exist on the on football. Okay, we know that is a professional today, and we goes on the more professional things. But I think football need to keep the essence of the of the pass. And the other question today is: We know he's on his way, Pep Guardiola. What will he bring with him to the Premier League? Well, I think that the Premier League is uh, the best, uh, the best league on the world. Um, but it's true that uh, oh, it's, a, it's a big name. Guardiola in the last uh, few years uh, won a lot uh, titles with Barcelona and, and Bayern Munich, and it's exciting. It's, we, in the end, he come and uh, to the Premier League. I think uh, we will expect a very exciting time because. Uh, is one of the best uh, managers in the world, and maybe it's, it's, it's a good thing that uh, he come here. For a club like yours, where you are in the, in, the, in the table now, is the FA Cup a distraction, or is it your best chance for silverware this season? No, it's not a distraction. The FA Cup is a, it's the older competition in the world, and I think that uh, we respect a lot the competition. We have um, a strong squad, and it's true that we come off of the very busy period on Christmas, mm -hmm. but uh, it's a good opportunity maybe for some player that can play or deserve to play on the starting level consistently on the, on the Premier League uh, to show uh, the quality and fight for his place uh, on, the, on the team. And there'll be two outstanding strikers involved in this match, obviously Jamie and, and Harry as well. It's going to be intriguing, isn't it? Sorry? You got Jamie Vardy and, and, and Harry Keane, you know, going up against each other. Harry Kane. Is he? He's injury. Oh dear. <laughs> for Sunday, yes. For Wednesday, we. Did I give know. you? A, did I worry you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I am no worry. No, no. no. Um, well, let's ask about Harry. I mean, in, in the um, in the Telegraph, obviously, a very well respected newspaper. There's talk of <laughs> Real Madrid being interested in him. I mean, what would ah, yes. can you tell us if, if there's any truth in that? I didn't see. I don't know. It's true. It's true. It's true. Rumor. Yes, rumor. I don't know, but this not surprise me. I think mm -hmm. Harry Kane is one of the best striker in Europe or in the world, and um, will not surprise me if some. Big, big, big clubs uh, are interested in him, but I think it's only a rumor. It's if the price is right, would you sell? If the, the price. price if, if, the, if the money was there, would you sell? No, it's not for sale, Harry Kane. Mm. And the good thing is Harry want to stay with us. Mm. This is the most important thing because sometimes the manager or the head coach can, can say it's not for sale. The player are not for sale, but if the player want to leave, uh, it's a lot of example that. Sometimes happen, but in this case, uh, uh, the, the good thing is the Tottenham want to sell him. Want, don't want, don't, don't want. want. <laughs> Sorry for my English. Don't want to sell him. Don't, don't want to sell him. And Harry Kane want to stay with us. 
What if he, and if he gets injured, you want a bit of cover for him. I mean, there's obviously there's been the Saido Berahino saga. It sounds, uh, Maurizio Zo, uh, relations with West Brom are a bit warmer now. Is there any chance of that deal being done? Uh, and could Andros Townsend be involved in going the other way? No, only rumours is uh, nothing true. And mm. It's nothing changed from the summer. You're not going to, you know, no, no, no. use a go-to, no use, no, use no, a third only there. rumors. Yeah. So only this other, another, another, another rumor. And but and Andros, you know, is it true he said he he wants to go away on a loan move to, to get some to, to play football? Andros is part of our our uh, uh, team, and we will happen. And maybe we communicate, but uh, today nothing to to communicate. How good is it for English football what Leicester City have, have done this season? Well, I think uh, it's very important that the, the club like Leicester uh, are at the top. Uh, I think it's important, some good player, um, the player deserve the credit, the manager, uh, unbelievable job, but too for the past, uh, deserve the credit uh, Nigel Pearson too and, and all the staff and all, all the club. I think it's a fantastic show from last season and this season they, they made. And, uh, but always it's important and, and it's, it's good because uh, to realise how difficult is the Premier League. You and Claudio Ranieri were in La Primera in La Liga at the same time. What do you remember of when you were a player and he was a coach and, and what do you think he's done for Leicester this season as well? No, I think that it's a fantastic job. Uh, he deserves full credit and um, he's a, a great manager and uh, only can praise him. And it's true that he's older than me and I play. And maybe it was my, the possibility to, to meet him on Atletico de Madrid and, and then was was impossible. But uh, yes, yes, I think he's a great manager. As an Englishman, um, sorry, as, as a non-Englishman rather, what do you think about the FA Cup? When you were younger, did you know its importance, its history? Or have you only learnt that when you've come to England? I learned more when I arrived to England, it's true, uh, to be fair. Uh, but it's true that there's a, the older competition in the world and, 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 and in England is uh, it's a very important uh, trophy. And Claudio has said that he will rest players for the match in the Cup at the weekend. Is that good for Spurs? No, I think that uh, uh, for us it's important, a very important competition. It's true that uh, it's hard when you play Europa League, and Capital One, and, and, and FA Cup and Premier League. Uh, it's for that we have a strong squad and, and maybe we can give some possibility the player that deserve to play and show the quality and, and, and deserve to play maybe consistently on the Premier League. but. Don't have the, they don't have the chance because the team uh, doing well. And, uh, but uh, for us, it's very important Sunday uh, to, 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 win the, to win the game. Thank you. Any more broadcast questions? Just Tom. 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 Any injury for us here? No. no. Ryan Mason. Oh. Ryan Mason and, and, and Musa are still out for Sunday. But uh, no new uh, injuries uh, uh, so far. With Harry, how do you balance his desire to play every game with your need for him to be fresh all the way to the end of the season? Yeah, so all the players have uh, decided to play uh, every game, and uh, but after it's our uh, election or decision to, to pick or not them. But this Drew Harry is in a very good condition. Uh, it's, it's, it's fresh, uh, mental and, and physical, and it's, uh, we are happy in the way that uh, he is now. And uh, but it's true that always after uh, every game we analyze and assess the, every player and try to, to take the, the, the better decision for.
forgive to the the player and after to the to the team the better condition to go, to compete in every game. Alex Pritchard, is he back in training now? Is he close to being available again? Not yet, not yet. You need to understand that uh, after six months injury to catch up the <laughs> the rest of the the, the player the team. It's a very difficult. One thing is to be available to start to training with the group. Another is his fit to, to compete. And uh, always is hard. But uh, the good news for him is he's close to, to start to start to training with the, with the team. And it's good for his feeling and his mood. And, and always the player when are a long term injury is a, is a bad period difficult period but now we need to <coughs> go uh, a little bit step by step uh, to build uh, his fitness because this is a, the, the more difficult thing uh, for the next uh, few months. And it's also a slightly unusual situation with playing Leicester in three days time again does, does that change your thinking at all maybe resting some more players or giving the younger players a chance? No it's not, it's not about resting it's about to when um, after the Christmas period is very tough for the player. Some players believe that are fresh, but it's not true. And we can we can see we can show a, a lot of injury in the last few games after uh, Christmas period. And for that, we need to be clever in our decision and try to realize and assess is for that we work very hard every day to try to identify the player that need rest and the player that are fresh and, and can play uh, the next few, few, few games. Hi guys, it's Barnaby for Spurred On. This is my post-match review after Spurs drew one all at Goodison Park against Everton.